Let's talk about the anatomy of the foot from the medial aspect, the inside. Starting with the skeletal structure. First we have our tibia, that's going to be number one, like this. Then right behind it we have our fibula, which is slightly visible over here, our fibula, that's going to be number two. Then right below the fibula, uh, the tibia that is, we have the talus, which is right here. Right below the talus we've got the bone of the heel, that's going to be our calcaneus, number four. Um, then, number five, we have a bunch of small bones, which are called the tarsals. Right here, our tarsals. Then we have our metatarsals, which are here, number six. Our proximal phalanges, number seven. And then our distal phalanges, that's going to be number eight. Okay, now that we've talked about the skeletal structure, let's add two tendons that are visible from the inside of the foot. Let's change colors a little bit. <clears throat> we have the tendocalcaneus, which is attached to the soleus, and the calcaneus. That's going to be the Achilles tendon right here, like this, the tendocalcaneus. That's going to be A. And then the tendon of the tibialis anterior, which is going to be this here, which runs down here and attaches downward to the bottom of our metatarsals. That's the tendon of the tibialis anterior muscle that controls the toe. Uh, let's label that B. Okay, uh, now let's talk about our anatomical landmarks. Let's change colors a little bit. We have the inside ankle bone, which is called the medial malleolus. That's going to be this shape here. Um, on the inside, the ankle bone is going to be kind of square looking. It's going to have a square shape, and it's going to sit slightly above the beginning of the foot. So probably, let's say, at the same level. That's the medial malleolus. Then we have our tendocalcaneus, our Achilles tendon, the tendocalcaneus. And then there's going to be a furrow in between, like that. We have the heel itself, the calcaneus, very important landmark. And then the ball of the toe. So that's going to be the end of our metatarsals on the inside. That's going to be the ball of the toe. Uh, a few things about our landmarks. Uh, if we divide the foot into even thirds, like this, here's the big toe. Notice that the ball of the big toe is approximately a third of the way in. And then the heel also starts about a third of the way in. So if you divide the foot into roughly thirds, you can get the correct proportion of those landmarks on the inside of the foot. Okay, so more on that later when we talk about how to draw the foot in practice. Now let's talk about the anatomy of the foot in the lateral aspect on the outside. Starting with our skeletal structures, we have our tibia, which is going to be A right here our fibula, which is going to be B. We have our calcaneus, which is C, right here. Our talus, which is going to be D. Then we have a group of small muscles, which are called the tarsals, which are right here, like this. That's going to be E. Then our metatarsals, that's this series of muscles, muscles, bones, here, like this. Uh, then we have our proximal phalanges, which are here, can't really see them further back, but our proximal phalanges, that's going to be G, and then our distal phalanges, which are the tips of the toes, that's going to be H. Okay, now that we've got the skeletal structure out of the way, let's talk about our muscle groups. Uh, let's hide the skeletal stuff, and change colors slightly. Okay, uh, so first of all, we have our Achilles tendon, the tendocalcaneus. That's going to run right here, like this, which originates from the soleus and attaches to the bone of the heel, our calcaneus. Then, running along our fibula, wrapping around behind the head of the fibula, 
and attaching to the bottom of the foot at approximately the halfway point. We have the tendon of the peroneus longus. That's going to be B. Tendocalcaneus is A. Then we have a muscle that runs from the tarsals along the outside of the foot. Running this way, like this. That is your extensor digitorum brevis. So we have an extensor digitorum longus, which we'll talk about in a second. We also have a brevis, which is a muscle that runs on the outside of the foot and forms a little bulge. So that's going to be C, and then our tendon of the extensor digitorum longus, which is going to be this tendon, this little shape right here, which fans out to, let's change colors, let's make that a little bit clearer, runs this way, and then fans out to the five toes. The tendon of the extensor digitorum longus. Um, as far as landmarks, there are two important ones that you need to know. Well, okay, we already talked about the Achilles tendon, but uh, let's talk about the lateral malleolus, which is important. Lateral malleolus is formed by the head of the fibula. It's going to have a triangular shape, which sits a little bit lower down than the inside ankle bone. So if you look at the foot from the front, Let's say the big toe is on this side, like this. Here are the little toes. The ankle bone on the inside is going to start right at the very top of the foot. You can see that the outside ankle bone, the lateral malleolus, is going to start lower. So there's this kind of angle shift from one ankle bone to the other. Lateral malleolus. And then we've got the tendon of the peroneus longus wrapping right behind this way, that's going to form a little streak underneath the lateral malleolus. Um, and then obviously, again, the Achilles tendon right here. That's going to be number three, Achilles tendon. Okay, uh, that briefly covers the anatomy of the foot. Uh, now we can see what the foot looks like in practice. So I'm going to show you guys practical ways of drawing the foot from different angles.